Hey, future scientists, welcome back to another enlightening session of 3D Questions from Steam Inspirations. I'm Mr. Lara, here to navigate you through the fascinating principles of light and refraction. Today, we're examining how light behaves when it travels through different mediums. For those of you who need a quick recap or joining us for the very first time, click the link at the top right corner for additional resources. So you're ready to jump in to today's hands-on experiment? We've prepared a scenario where a person observes a fish in a lake. The diagram shows the actual position of the fish versus the observed position. This will help us understand how light changes direction when moving between water and air. Quick recap, remember refraction is the bending of light as it passes from one medium to another. This property can make objects appear closer or farther away than they actually are. Here's your task. Observe the diagram and think about how the light traveling from the fish to the observer's eye is affected by the water surface. Here's your question for part A. Why does the fish appear to be at a different position than where it actually is? Go ahead and select two correct answers. Answer choice A. The light changes direction when it moves from water to air. Quick tip. Think about the effect of refraction on light direction. Does light change direction when it moves from one medium to another, such as from water to air? Answer choice B. The light reflects off the surface of the water. Quick tip, consider how reflection would change the appearance of the fish. Would the fish look different if the light was bouncing off the surface instead of passing through it? Answer choice C. The light bends due to a change in speed as it passes from water to air. Here's your quick tip. Understand how the speed of light changes when moving between different mediums. How does this bending of light affect the observed position of the fish? Answer choice D. The light separates into different colors when it leaves the water. Quick tip, remember the concept of dispersion. How does the separation of light into different colors differ from the bending of light due to refraction? So go ahead and choose your answers and proceed to part B. Here's your question for part B. Based on your understanding from part A, how does the behavior of light impact real world applications? Go ahead and select two correct answers. Answer choice A, it helps in the development of lenses for glasses and cameras. Here's your quick tip. Think about the role of refraction in optical instruments. How does understanding light behavior help in designing lenses? Answer choice B, it explains why objects underwater appear closer than they are. Here's your quick tip. Reflect on the practical effects of refraction in everyday observations. How does this knowledge help us understand the apparent position of underwater objects? Answer choice C. It shows how light can be used to create rainbows. Here's your quick tip. Consider how dispersion is used to create rainbows. How does the separation of light into colors relate to this phenomenon? Answer choice D. It is crucial in understanding how light interacts with various surfaces. Here's your quick tip. Understand the broader implications of light behavior in different environments. How does this knowledge apply to the interaction of light with surfaces? So go ahead and engage with the diagram. Reflect on how the refraction of light causes a fish to appear in a different position. This hands-on scenario is a practical application to deepen your understanding of light behavior and its interactions with different media. Here's your final tip. As you observe the diagram, try to hypothesize about how refraction affects your perception of objects in water and discuss how this knowledge could be applied in fields like engineering and photography. This activity will enhance your analytical skills, scientific reasoning, and problem-solving capabilities. Be sure to jot down your observations, decisions, and conclusions in your Level Up workbook. This exercise will expand your knowledge of physics and prepare you for more complex scientific questions. So go ahead and keep watching our channel for more educational and insightful content. Let's continue to foster our passion for science and learning.